All right, Scorpio, let's start with our feelings. They have the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Moon in reverse. Let's start with the Ace of Swords in reverse. So right now, I feel that there is no communication going on between you guys, okay? Um, it looks like uh, one of you has that communication. Either you guys have blocked each other or one of you has blocked the other one, okay? But this is definitely lack of clarity, lack of communication. Miscommunication is also what I'm hearing, okay? Uh, things could have been a lot in the dark, okay? This person is having a very hard time trusting their intuition right now or it could be you who's having a hard time trusting your intuition. But with the moon in reverse here, I feel that everything's under wraps. Okay, usually the moon in reverse is clarity, but sometimes the moon in reverse alternatively can also mean that there is absolute confusion and instead of things getting better, um, there's a lot of suppressed emotions. Okay, and this is all because either there's someone who's suppressing their emotions, okay, someone who's suppressing their real true feelings, or this is all because there's just no communication going on between you guys. Uh, this person could have had a lot of fear, anxiety, you know, uh, regarding this relationship or this could just be someone, you know, who's always been hiding their feelings from you, okay? This could be a runner. You could have been the chaser, okay? In the past, I am hearing someone who's always been ignoring the feelings, trying to escape the reality, trying to escape the truth of this relationship, okay? And with the moon in reverse, I think that this person right now, you or them, but I'm feeling more like them who's suppressing their feelings, okay? They have a lot of deep emotions for you, but they're trying their best to suppress them, okay? And they're ha having a very hard time trusting their intuition. Their intuition is blocked right now. They could be listening to a lot of other people's opinions also, maybe their friends, family, cousins, whoever, okay? Someone is already telling them not to pursue this or someone's telling them to keep their emotions under wrap. And I mean, they're probably choosing to listen to them rather than their own intuition. They're not trusting their gut. But again, with the Ace of Swords in reverse here, I feel this person is not ready to talk or they're just keeping the truth away from you. Okay. And the truth is that they have a lot of emotions for you. With the Queen of Wands here, this is how this person sees you. Okay. I feel they see you as someone who's... Um, Two ways. Either this person has a lot of emotions for you, there's a lot of chemistry between you guys, okay? This person is like wanting to literally pursue you or what I'm getting more is that this is how this person sees you. This sees you as someone um, very passionate, someone who knows what they want and they get it. They see you as a go-getter. They see you as someone who's like badass, someone who's the shit, okay, for them. And uh, you could have literally proved yourself to them like, you know, like, like, you're the best and there's no one better than you that they can get they see you as someone who's got a lot of suitors also at the same time okay but they definitely see you as someone who's uh, who's uh, got that go for it vibe and who's got a lot of confidence okay i'm getting that they could have they could even be a little intimidated by you in the four of pentacles and reverse here i think this is what they say you they see you as someone who's held on to this relationship for a very very long time you could have held on to this relationship for a very long time, okay? You could have, uh, because you literally thought that this was a security, you were very, very possessive about them, okay? You could have literally clinged on to them, okay? Like, no, I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to make this work out. Or I'm going to give you my 100% of things don't work out. But they definitely see you as someone who's let them go, okay? Who's detached from them completely. Detachment is what I'd say. They've got like more like that detachment vibe from you, okay? Because you're no longer giving your energy to them. And they see you as someone who's released them completely. You're no longer holding on to them as tight as you were before. Or you've completely just, you know, let, just let it go. Yeah. And uh, with the Queen of Wands here, they see you as someone very confident in their decision. They don't see you regretting it. They don't see you looking back. That's what I'm seeing. Your feelings, we have the Queen of Pentacles here, okay, and with the Nine of Wands here. Um, I'm getting you're very, very focused on your work, your career, your goals. Not only, this is not even in the reverse here right now, okay, so I'm feeling you're not being selfish right now or greedy with your energies. Not only are you very, very focused on your work, career, goals, but you're also focused on your career, your work, your family, your kids, etc., wanting to nurture yourself. You know what, Scorpio, I feel you're taking up the energy of someone very, very practical, very grounded, okay? You're, I'm literally hearing you're leaving your emotions on the side. You want to give this a more practical approach this time rather than the emotional one that you always did. Because now your guards are up with this person. This person's, this person's going to have a real, real, real hard time if they want to come towards you, okay? But right now, this person looks pretty intimidated by you. They do have a lot of feelings, but it's all suppressed. They're like keeping it under wraps because they literally see you letting them go. 
they don't see you as holding on to them. Maybe you really don't give a fuck anymore, okay? And they can feel it. If that's what you're doing, they feel it. Seriously, Scorpio. Your cards are up. Your cards are up. They see you as someone, you know, like literally they're trying so hard. This person could have tried to approach you. They could have tried to talk to you. Maybe they could have tried the same old, same old way to approach you, you know, through anything like sneaky way of approaching you maybe making fake dummy accounts or just trying to talk to you trying to get a you know trying to test the water trying to get a gist of whether probably you're single whether you're still interested etc no you know but they see you as someone who's got that those night wants up okay they see you as someone super super guarded okay super def defensive and it's not going to be you're gonna you're being a real tough cookie okay for them to crack but yeah, I see you as very, very grounded because this is what you want. You want stability. You want something practical. You want something tangible, okay? You're not looking for no bullshit, okay? And that's what they see you as. But that's in your feelings. That's in your feelings. With the page of pentacles here, I feel that you're wanting to pursue something new, okay? I thought this is this person who's wanting to come in towards you and wanting to, you know, I feel... I don't really, I mean, I don't see this as something new. But I do see it can go two ways, okay? Either this is you who's still wanting to invest into this because you still have a little bit of love for this person, okay? It could be either ways. Either this is you who's wanting to pursue this, okay? But it's like, you know what? I don't want to make the first move. But yeah, if you're ready to come in and apologize, we can still make it work out because this is still a page here, right? You're not offering the king here. But at the same time with the queen of pentacles here, you're wanting something very solid, okay? So either this is still you who's like probably like maybe, you know, if, you're interested then you need to come and correct otherwise i'm not putting the work or in your feelings you see them as um someone who's very immature okay because we don't really expect the page of pentacles in a romantic reading okay that's like pretty bland communication okay but yes it is something where you're moving towards a step of stability i do feel that this person wants to come in towards you okay i don't know why i do feel they want to come towards you but it's like you know they, they they're they're um there's, they feel very defeated. Okay, that's what I'd say. They feel very, very defeated. Okay, this could also be you with the page of pentacles that you want to start fresh somewhere new. This could be someone new in your life. Okay, who's approaching towards you. Okay, but again, with the page of pentacles here, right, you're wanting something solid, something committed, which we even saw the queen of pentacles here. But I think with the page of pentacles, the, I'm getting them in your feelings. I feel like they want to approach you okay but with the world here i feel two things either you feel you've ended things with this person and you want nothing to do with this person anymore or you're okay if this person approaches you in the correct way right you're okay to open a new cycle with them if they've learned their lessons and this is how they're coming towards you okay but yeah you definitely see things have completely ended with you okay it's like you've reached a certain goal with this person okay you've reached a milestone with this person like okay like this is how much and as far as I can go with this person with the current situation, with the kind of behavior, with the approach that this person has done with you, okay? But now, if this person really, really needs to do something or take things a step further, they're going to have to come in and offer you something stable, okay? They're going to have to come in and have some sensible conversation with you. Otherwise, it's kind of like a big no and it's a wrap up for you, for sure, okay? Because you're guarded as fuck. You are. In the mutual energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here. I don't think this person's wanting to move towards you as yet, or this is you who's not moving towards them. I'm telling this is the person you're dealing with, right? They were anyways moving very, very slowly towards you. You could be dealing with someone who's like very slow in their moment, okay? Slow and steady, okay? But someone very genuine. But right now it's the reverse. So things are completely at a standstill, okay? This person's lacking in motivation and ambition to move towards you, I'm getting, okay? Either this person is going through a burnout right now because I think they've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried. And things are just not coming into fruition. They're just not being able to get this relationship to go through, to like set through. Because again, I'm feeling their approach is very lazy. This is someone very lazy in their approaches. Like probably they'll, they'll talk to you for a week and then two weeks they won't talk. And then again, they'll come back to you and then again, three weeks they won't talk, you know. So it's almost like for you, you're like, you're done with that inconsistency. You know, that insincere energy. You want something solid. That's what I'm saying here, okay? But uh, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, I feel this person is very, very lazy. I thought this person is really not wanting to make any effort and they're just trying to see how it goes. They're going with the flow. Or this person is definitely reaching a point of burnout, okay? Because they're like, I'm fed up and tired. This is just going nowhere. 
with the empress in reverse here also again i feel like this is a situation that's going nowhere you could have given a lot to this relationship a lot to the situation or to this person the empress in reverse okay this is when the empress is upright right she she knows her worth she knows her value she sets healthy boundaries okay but when she's in the reverse right this is someone who's probably very insecure very codependent and probably probably this is how um, they're feeling probably they're very very codependent on you they need you they want you you know i'm getting someone who's like i'm not okay on my own i need you scorpio i'm not okay on my own but again when it comes to making that move even wanting to make a move there's still the knight of pentacles which is the slowest moving deck okay slowest moving knight of the deck so yeah i don't see them making a move move towards you as yet okay with the empress in reverse here i feel this is just a situation where you're not giving any energy i don't even think they're investing right now but the situation is just going nowhere right now okay there's no growth there's no expansion at the current moment what is the likely outcome between scorpio and the person they're dealing with what is the outcome What is the outcome for the week for Scorpio and the person they're dealing with? What is the outcome for the week? <laughs> this card fell out. This card did fall out. Do we have the Four of Wands in reverse? Five of Swords and the Temperance in reverse. Okay. What I'm feeling is with the Four of Wands in reverse. Um, I feel there is still a lack of harmony between you guys, okay? I'm also getting with the four of wands in reverse, there could be some home conflict, some family work conflict going on. Maybe this person is still going through a lot within their home, okay? I'm also getting that this person could be someone who's trying to fight for you, okay? Because this is a family card, it's a home card, okay? So when it's in the reverse, right, this is a very home work conflict. So this person could be going through a lot of conflicts in their house, okay? Or this person is just generally not, there's a lack of stability between you guys, okay? Lack of stability security between you guys or i do see you as someone who's completely shut the door on this person's face okay you're no more entertaining this person in your life this person with the five of swords here i'm getting a little determined energy from this person like whatever happens i'm not giving up i have a feeling this person is not going to not going to be ready to let you go you may have let this person go okay but i don't think this person is um i don't think this person wants to let you go the very determined on having your back. No matter what you do, whether you talk to them one month, two months, three months, no matter how long a break you take, right? This person is very determined and they want you back. If not, they want you back, but at least they're not going to let you go. Very determined, very egoic energy. Okay, like how can you get away like that from me? You know, they see you walking away. They feel it's like an, I mean, they feel it's like a victory, but that's an empty victory card. Okay, that's a lot of pride, ego. I feel this person has a lot of pride and ego when it comes to communicating about their feelings. Okay, so they'd rather choose to keep quiet and not communicate and suppress their emotions rather than open up and be vulnerable. That's what I'm getting. With the temperance in reverse here, this person is finally going to lose their patience, okay? This is a lack of balance. This is not being moderate, okay? This is overdoing something. This person could be overindulging into alcohol or this because, you know, with the temperance in reverse here, I'm getting numbing, you know? May not be, but I'm getting someone, you know, who's like, look, because we already see how impatient they are. We already see how egoistic they are, right? But we also see they're suppressing their emotions. I'm getting this person using alcohol to numb their pain, they're just doing, definitely doing something. We don't see the devil here, right? So it's not like a bad habit or something. But right now, they're, 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 they're not being able to be in moderation, okay? Something, they're just definitely doing something in excess. And probably you're not even aware of it. So this person may be suppressing their emotions. Maybe they're even not talking to you, okay? Like I said, in the, like I said before, I don't think you guys are communicating. But yeah, right now, I think this person's losing their shit. They're going that shit crazy. I have a feeling they want to talk to you, but their ego, their pride is stopping them from coming towards you. A lot of ego and pride, they have a lot of feelings for you, but they're suppressing them, like I said, right? It's all, there's a whale in their feelings. Definitely a whale. And they're not ready to show it to you, but if, I mean, deep within, they're going nuts. They're going nuts. They have no more patience left. They're not ready to wait, and they just, I mean, are... It's like, I don't know what I want, but I want it now. That's the kind of feeling they are in. 
it's like now 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 i want to talk to scorpio now but no 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 i have my ego i have my i have my pride how could i be the first one to approach scorpio etc you know i mean scorpio is the queen of wands here yeah i know she's cool she's got that shit going and stuff like that but scorpio on the other hand with the queen of pentacles is too focused on her work and that's one of the energies one of the reasons law of attraction right why you're um attracting this person towards you right you're doing you you're doing you and that's what irritates them with the five of swords here. this is what pisses them off that you you fucking shut the door on their face you wanted this commitment with this person you wanted something stable with this person right but now you don't want it no more with them i'm thinking this person is rethinking about if they should make a move towards you if this is the right time or not or messages here but you've definitely uh, again i'm getting your side i still don't I still don't know if you've completely shut the door on this person's face or no, because I do see the page of pentacles on your side. Okay, so yeah, either you're waiting for this person to communicate with you, you're wanting, you're waiting for an apology from this person. If this person comes in and apologizes with the world here, you're ready to open a new cycle with them, or you just want closure. It could be any of them. Either you want closure or you want an apology to start a new cycle. But you want this person to come and correct because you're not looking for the page of cups here. The page of cups is also an apology, but page of pentacles also is an apology. Okay, a gift, but something tangible. If this person has something substantial, something very uh, solid to offer you, you're still okay with it. I think. I think you're for a few of you, but till this person doesn't, I think you're quite shut off. You've shut the door on this person's face. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.